Hi, um, you know, it's, uh, Gladys actually told me to uh, clean up my act before I went on stage by asked her if I could still do heroin, so she's going to let me still do that. Um, it's good to be here, because um, I woke up this morning, I was very tired, very pale, very nauseous. Uh, I was worried that I was dehydrated, but thank God it was just my AIDS acting up. So, I'm very happy about that. I am from New Jersey, that's why it smells in here. Um, just busy punching Edie Falco in the kitchen before I came here tonight. I don't know if any of you have ever been on the New Jersey Turnpike, but they should just rename the New Jersey Turnpike Anus. That should just be the new name. A little bit of truth in advertising. So, I just graduated acting school, so clap for me now. It's been real hard on me because it was my mother's last wish before she passed away last December. So clap for me now. <laughs> It's really hard, you know, because, you know, she wanted to do it, too. And, you know, it's like her last wish. <laughs> it was acting. That was acting. Sorry about that. That was good. I learned. <laughs> you know what sucks about acting? Bad actors. That sucks. I mean, I'm in no position to judge anyone's acting ability because I paid 14 bucks to perform here tonight. <laughs> Just looking at, I would go to school with these rich little stuck-up spoiled whores with a dream, and it was hurtful. I mean, seeing them read Hamlet, they're just like, to be, or not to fucking be. Oh, that's a fucking question. It's like, yeah, that's great. That's really good. Horatio's so hot. <laughs> the funny thing about acting school is, we were being taught how to act by someone whose crowning achievement in acting was being an extra in a G.I. Joe commercial. <laughs> so, we had a little trouble with that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my bitch tonight, ladies and gentlemen. She came here tonight. She's actually my best friend's girlfriend, but don't say anything, okay? I trust you all here, because there's a lot of networking, there's that face space that's going on. That book and a computer, that's bullshit. No, but seriously, my girlfriend, um, no, it's not seriously, I'm serious. My girlfriend, I actually am in a relationship where I think, wow, I think my girlfriend's more manlier than I am. And that's really awkward, because I'm into acting, and I'm sitting in bed crying watching The Green Mile, I'm just like, this <laughs> And she's in the sports, she's like, put on the fucking Met game, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Pedro's starting tonight, shit. I'm like, baby, I got the part. She's like, well, I got season tickets to the Giants. And you're a fucking homo because you're not coming with me. <laughs> Drive give me 20 push up. <laughs> I tried dirty talking. Don't do it, okay? Um, I thought it would be good at it. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was very unique. Uh, I'm a man, very attractive. <laughs> But, here you go, Scotty. Hey. Scotty boy. Power Rangers. I like Power Rangers. Anyway, um, I don't know why I said that, but dirty talking, I tried it once with my girlfriend recently. And she, I was like, I don't know how to do it. I've never done it before. She's like, listen, just talk about dirty, dirty things. Just, you know, get fucking creative, right? So I was like, okay. Um, okay. Um... Well, you know the garage needs to be cleaned out in the summer, when the summer starts. Um, you know, there's a lot of asbestos, you know, that's uh, in the basement. I don't know if they can do anything about that. Maybe I call exterminator, but they're really expensive. You know, it's really... Did you come yet? It was like she was so mad at me, it felt like she gave me my virginity back. So I don't know if you ever felt like that. But thank you guys very much.